and welcome to Alfie the Lobster channel. On this channel, we will be discussing architecture with my sidekick, Ken, to do the voiceovers. So, we hope you like this one. There's going to be many, many more. Hold on. Breaking news. Wait a second. There is no news. None on this channel. It's all about architecture. So, here goes. Ken Haskin here for Alfie the Lobster. Alfie sent me out today to do some architectural exploring. And where I live is on the main line outside of Philadelphia. I've lived here all my life. And I used to know the owners of this house. This house is a very famous house because it's by one of the few buildings actually done by one of the greatest architects of the last century, a Philadelphian uh, named Louis I. Kahn. So as we're looking here, you can obviously see here's a street facade, which is slightly skewed. And uh, second floor there which features on the left that features uh, bedrooms with a nice high windows so you can get lots of light but uh, still get privacy it's almost a, it's a south uh, easterly uh, direction so even though he's got a slight overhang because the sun would otherwise heat up the space a lot but uh, in general in general a, a good placement of the house uh, the owners here have gone with a sort of a freeform English style garden, wouldn't even necessarily call it a garden, but more like ground cover to allow for some sort of sense of privacy and screening because they are on a very, very busy road. Anyway, one of the interesting things about this house, which unfortunately has been changed uh, because I knew the people who owned the house when it, when it was original to the uh, design, is that as you can see, there's vertical siding all around the exterior of the house. And when you it used to be, you could see that nice big vertical rock that's calling out the front door. And it used to be that that vertical slab that next to, it's next to the front door used to be diagonal instead of vertical, and that's because it was going through to the inside of the house, and all the all the siding on the inside of the house goes on a diagonal with a slant similar to the roof above to the roof line. So that sort of led you into the front of the house. Uh, as you can see, it kind of does welcome you with uh, the two wings, the garage on the left and the living room on the right. It kind of welcomes you to the entrance, which this is the entry walkway. And uh, then when you come in, you can see the top of the chimney, which beneath that is a very, very uh, large, heavy, uh, black slate covered fireplace, which kind of anchors the middle of the house. The whole house kind of rotates around it. So it had a lot of thermal mass, so it would store heat, which is good for a fireplace, and it's centrally located, so it would warm the whole house. And of course, with the roof sloping up there, the heat would go up to the top and uh, warm up the bedrooms. Anyway, it's a beautiful house. I don't know the current owners, and I'm not going to be so brazen as to, to walk into the house. Uh, the uh, shoji screens that you can see on the right-hand side living room, I do not believe were original to the house, um, but they do afford privacy, and as you can see, it's facing the same direction as the other side of the house that I showed you before on the left there with the overhangs and it does not have overhangs and so therefore they probably get a lot of solar gain into that space and uh, that's why the shoji screens help to reduce the uh, and also give you some privacy from this uh, very noisy road down here anyway it's a beautiful day uh, architecture is uh, is everywhere so make sure you choose a good architect because the more good architecture you get, the more beautiful your environment, and you can't escape it. Uh, there, if you can see in the back, beyond this uh, overhang, there's actually a, a fire pit, which is a part of the actual original design of the house, and also creates some screening for noise. Anyway, super cool house, and uh, if you want to know more about uh, about uh, Lou Icahn, he, uh, he is an amazingly unusual person. Uh, there's a uh, movie out uh, about him called My Architect, which is done by his son and tells about some of his uh, some of his rascally r ways as a human being while he was trying to be an architect. And it's kind of a, kind of an amazing story. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, hopefully you tune into t more Alfie the uh, Lobster. Breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law.